They're not even trying. Now it's, what is it, hush money for this fucking hoe? They'll take anything they can get. So we're, they're going on obstruction of justice, right, um, for the for covering up um, the hush money for the hoe. <laughs> so he paid off he put, he paid off Stormy Daniels. <laughs> right, so the grand jury indicted him related to a hush money payment. Um, the money was paid in an effort to prevent her from publicly revealing an affair she claimed she had with the president years ago. Um, here's the thing. This used to derail somebody. But Trump, you blew your wad. You blew your wad. If you were quiet on him and just stayed after policy and just were quiet and didn't try to get him on every little thing, and then this came out, this would derail him, right? Because he's got a lot of fans who are like, you know, Christian and like right wing. And they'd be like, oh my God, he's a cheater or whatever, Flanderer. Remember Gary Hart? What was his name? Remember that derailed him his affair with Marla Maples? Right. What no, was his he name? was a Chandra Levy guy, wasn't he? No, Chandra Levy got murdered. Yeah, and that wasn't Gary Hart who did it? No, remember the presidential candidate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. I think her name was Marla Maples. Um, and that came out. Remember back in the day where an affair could, like, ruin you? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, Marla Maples. No, she was married to Donald Trump, Marla Maples. Oh, so who said Gary Hart affair? He married, he was uh, Gary Hart, yeah, president affair, just so we get it right. Yeah, sex scandal. Donna Rice. Donna Rice. Donna Rice. So that derailed him. That was back in the day where any little thing like that could derail you, a little scandal or whatever. Mm. Then Clinton kind of broke it in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Clinton kind of broke it in. Because he was banging, like, bartenders. Uh, I mean, you know, he was the governor of Arkansas. And he wasn't, he took a, he made a hard left from JFK. He was like the new JFK as far as, like, being the philanderer. And JFK was banging classy broads, ambassadors' wives, mob bosses' wives, uh, Marilyn Monroe, probably other starlets, high-class stuff. And you know what? A couple of prostitutes when his wife was out of town. But I guarantee you these weren't no back page hoes. I guarantee you these were six-figure freaking hoes that walked in and were classy. I'm talking top-level toots, without a doubt. So then Billy Clinton came in, and Billy Clinton basically... Uh, he his tail was fast food level. I mean, he was doing drive through too. He was he was doing drive through puss puss. Strip mall. He was going. Give me a number four, and a me. Yeah, can I get? Yeah, with a large. Let me get. Let me. He was going. He was giving. Give, give me the big gulp. Yeah. I mean, remember the broads he was banging. Yeah, struck uh, truck stop. Bro. Yeah, we, truck, he was going. He was doing. He was doing freaking uh, truck stop tail. <laughs> yeah. What was her name? The one chick with the nose. She got a nose job and she looked pretty decent. And listen, Billy's a man after our own hearts because she had a decent bod. And a lot of times you go after a face like that if you see the bod and you go, listen, you know what I mean? The lights are going to be off. And I know because she's got that grill, she's going to do a little extra when she gives me a blowy. She's going to put a little bit more into it. Because when you got your dad's face, when you hook up with a woman with her dad's face, she goes a little harder on the blowy. And if she's got a nice bod, even better, you know? Because a lot of the nice women will cause you problems. So in some way, Billy was smart. He was going, you know what? I don't want the problem. So let me go with these chicks who are just happy to be there. I don't want to go with the Marilyn Monroe who's going to be like, when am I going to see you, Billy? Because you know that's what got her killed. She was probably going, Jack, when am I going to see you? He's going, listen, dame. All right? I fucking got a Cuban Missile Crisis going on. I can't show up to bang you out, right? Where I got to sneak in every time and, and throw a diversion with Secret Service. You know, I got, a, not to mention, I got 40 other broads I need to bang that aren't my wife. So I can't come see you, Norma Jean. And she's going, well, if you don't come see me, I'm going to freaking talk to the press. Okay, then you go to sleep. He probably even said that. You want to go to sleep? Because back then there was no way for her to prove, like, you know, he, you want to go to sleep? We'll put you to sleep. And she's like, you're fuck. I don't care. You're, you're bluffing. He goes, all right, send, you know, go. He called his dad, Joe, who was a gangster, friends with a gangster, said, put her to sleep. Time for her to pull, put, put her to sleep. Um, What was her name? You're talking about when Juanita Broderick? Well, no, the other one, the, the famous one with the big schnoz. This is a whole list of. Let's go. So you had Kathleen Wiley. Uh, yeah. I mean, even their names are trailer park. He had Juanita Broderick. She goes hard. 
She accused him of raping her in 78. When he was the attorney general of Arkansas. Yeah. And then, wait, hold on. Then we got Kathleen Wildly said that he uh, killed and kissed, fondled her breasts, and forced her to touch his crotch during a meeting in the Oval Office. Oval Office. She made her allegations public in 98. Mm. Uh, Paula Jones. That Paula was her name. Jones. Now, look, she fixed her nose. Yeah, look, yeah. at that's her new nose. Looks pretty good. Her old nose, I mean... Yeah, she looked like a she looked like a rabid raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, now Paula Jones said that um, she said they banged right. Police officer escorted her to Clinton's hotel room, and Clinton propositioned her for sex and exposed his genitals to her. Ooh. He sat down, pulled down his pants, his whole everything, and was exposed. And I said, "I'm not that kind of girl. I need to be getting back to my desk." He pulled a Louis. He pulled the old Louis. Um, he said, you're a smart girl. Let's keep this between ourselves. He ultimately paid her 850 as part of an out-of-court settlement uh, agreement, but, a not, but did not admit guilt or apologize. So why are you paying her 850 grand? <laughs> you know he did all this shit. Leslie Milwee. And you know who uh, George Stephanopoulos wrote a book. And I won't say anything bad about him because he's Greek. And he's also priest's son. But, yeah, he wrote a book where he, he totally turned on Clinton, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All Too Human, I think it was called. And I read it. And it was just about how Clinton was like a little... He dropped dime? He went... He, he, I'd say he dropped nickels. <laughs> he dropped nickels. He alluded Like, he didn't to. name names. Like, mm -hmm. so, but, you know, he alluded. Yeah. I think when you allude and you don't go all the way, you drop nickels. Right, I right. just made that up, and I think it's a good one. <laughs> um, and he got his millions. And now he makes God knows how much many millions a year. Well, he was the uh, he was in the campaign, right? The Clinton campaign. He was their chief campaign guy, and he was the uh, head of and staff. And he was his like main, yeah, chief his main advisor or whatever. Right. Um, so then Leslie Milwe, a former television reporter, I guess back that might have been when local news anchors still had a little clout. He did a lot of his dirt when he was young. This is in, in the eighties. Yeah, yeah I, you can't come out later. Mm. Well, maybe you can. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Says Clinton uh, groped her on several occasions. That uh, um, he followed me into the editing room. It was very small. It was a chair. I was sitting in a chair. He came up behind me, started rubbing my shoulders and running his hands down towards my breast. I was just stunned. I froze. I asked him to stop. He laughed. Said that he came in behind me, started hunching me to the point that he had an orgasm. Ooh, Ooh. he started hunching me. What does that mean? Uh, He's trying to touch my breast, and I'm just sitting there very stiffly, just waiting for him to leave me alone. And I'm asking him the whole time, please don't do this. Do not touch me. Do not hunch me. What does that mean? What is hunch? Was he dry humping her? Is that an expression Probably, for dry hump? Yeah. Um, <laughs> stop hunching me? <laughs> so he had a few accusers. Yeah. We should stop talking about this. We might end up on the hit list. Yeah, we might end up on the... <laughs>